uh, moving on to the University of Cincinnati and head coach Tommy Tuberville. The Bearcats were in action last Saturday. They beat Purdue 42-7. to uh, This week, uh, Cincinnati takes to the road. They are at Illinois, noon Eastern time start on ESPN2. Coach, thanks for taking a minute to join us on the call this week. If you could take a minute to tie up the uh, win against Purdue and tell us what you're looking forward to as you hit the road Saturday against Illinois, please. Thank you. I, I was uh, excited about the first game for our players. We uh, we stayed focused in a very difficult situation where it was so hot. I'd say 130 degree on the, on the uh, field, and it's awful tough when you got that hot. But uh, our guys uh, focused. We didn't have any outstanding individual performances, but we had a bunch of guys that just did their job and got the job done. On both sides, the offense and defense, we made a couple of mistakes in the kicking game, which we can't continue to do. A lot of lessons learned. Uh, now we uh, get ready to get the road for the first time and against another Big Ten team, and it's been another good, good challenge. Take questions for Coach Tommy Tuberville, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. And we can go ahead with the first question, please. Our first question comes from Tom Groshan with the Cincinnati Enquirer. Hey, Coach, uh, who's your quarterback going to be this week? <laughs> well, we'll practice all week long. Obviously, Munch had a pretty good game. And uh, we'll look at, once we start putting in the game plan, which will be this afternoon, we'll see which quarterback kind of fits in the terms of the game plan we want to run. That's the beauty of this whole situation. Both played good Saturday. Both were fans of the other guy. They're team guys, so uh, both want to play, but uh, we'll take the guy that gives the best opportunity to win. Will it be, um, you, know, you mentioned kind of a week-to-week thing. Um, as we go, or would you, do you want one of them to seize the job? Well, we'll, we'll see what happens as we go the first through the first few games, but right now, whoever's healthy enough, uh, Brandon's not quite as healthy as, as uh, Munchie, but he's getting better every day and could be 100% by Saturday, so we'll just, uh, we'll have a chance to put together a game plan to see which one it fits, as I said, and uh, once we get both of them 100% healthy, it'll be, it's going to be a tough choice. So, one more thing real quick, uh, I know I just being half serious there because we've talked so much about the quarterback, but you guys did so many things well the other day. What You mentioned the kicking game. What, what are some things that you would like to see improved uh, along with that? Well, the big thing is you got guys playing special teams that don't play on offense or defense. They're pretty much backups, and the effort wasn't quite as good as what we'd like. Uh, our coverage teams, uh, I thought our kickoff coverage teams were pretty good. Our kicker was a little erratic, kicking the ball off. Uh, we didn't have a chance to look at our punting game that much. We only had really one punt from our punt team. But uh, just all areas, you know, there were some breakdowns that uh, that didn't show up on the scoreboard, but they showed up on the film. So a lot of work to do, and uh, usually you don't have those problems the first game. And uh, that's reading your film, and that's reading your practice. So hopefully we'll get much better all phases, especially the kicking game. Again, star one for questions for Coach Tuberville, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue. We'll put one more swipe out there if anyone has anything. Seeing none then, Coach, well, thank you for your time this week. Look forward to talking to you next Monday. All right. And that is Cincinnati at Illinois, Saturday at noon on ESPN2.